Hello you guys, this is Kulatius and Latias and for this video, this video is uh, something I've never bought before but I decided to buy it because I've been trying to learn this and I call it this <laughs> uh, so I thought just for beginner, I mean it might not be like the book, the book but it's still something so Yup, so we got the Japanese for dummies, and we got the CD, but I found out that the CD actually basically reads what the book has, so it's nothing, I think it reads exactly like the book, which is kind of weird when you're learning a language, I, I don't know. How do I say this? Like, I actually thought it was a different CD altogether, but I guess it's not, so. You know, like, teaching you but not reading from the book. I don't know how that would help someone. Maybe they do better by listening. I don't know. But, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this besides, uh... Obviously, it's, it's not an easy language to learn... And um, if I've learned one thing, it really helps if you know something. So in this case, when you study Japanese, I think the best way to obviously, obviously study it is you need to learn the um, hiragana and the katakana, which is the ones that are borrowed from, you know, not their spelling so I'm trying to find it for you guys you know so I'm doing this at my pace I've pretty much almost mastered the hiragana section I still have trouble with the few so like I sometimes confuse the new and sometimes not all the times the uh, me one because they're identical almost but this symbol there now I'm confusing them less because that symbol, whenever I see that, I remember it's moon now. And another one I confused is, or not confused, is the Fu one. I know I should know that one. It stands out a lot. And sometimes I confuse the Ho one and the Ha one because they are identical except that there. So once I completely master them all, I mean, don't get me wrong, sometimes I still get confused even if I learn it all. Like sometimes I might make a mistake here and here that's really obvious. So once I actually learn them all, 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 I'm going to go to the kana section because that's what you should study next. Although there is one kana word that I know that stands out. Is this one row? That's the only one that I know because it's a square. So, <laughs> yep. Um, hiragana is the easiest one to learn. Katakana is the middle and the worst, which is kanji. It is very difficult, as anyone would tell you. So, when you study kanji, um, this is my advice don't study it right right away because like i said it's supremely it's just really difficult like all these like look at all these characters it's just amazing it's again it's just amazing i, I just don't know what to say so yep yeah, this is just a start i really don't know how to do this properly because it's not like i'm taking classes and my goddamn high school, they never offered Japanese. Because if they did, I would have done it. Definitely, like, the whole time I was in high school, if they had, like, Japanese, I would have been picking it, picking it, picking it, picking it. But they just didn't have it. So I have to depend on things like this. I can't just go, like I said, I'm not doing this with school help or a tutor. So I'm trying to do the best that I can it's a very difficult language. I don't think it's like one of the hardest to learn. But this is not an easy language, you guys. So it's very hard. Um, one thing that I did know, or not know, but uh, that I found out that's actually really fucking confusing. 
I don't know where to find it exactly. It might be here somewhere in the beginning, beginning. Is this thing where they have this particles and stuff like this, like wall and something. And it's like, it's probably the most hardest thing to learn. One of the other hard ones. It's like, so that's what I'm saying. It's like, don't go expecting this to be a tough um, and easy thing. It's It's hard. So, yeah. Other than that, I hope that you uh, enjoyed this video. And this is the CD I was talking about. So, yeah. Obviously, um, I'm not going to go for a Rosetta Stone. Because that's just... I'd rather spend that money on something else than this. Plus, the reviews pretty much... Uh, I just don't want to get it. So, the next thing I actually want to get... I don't know when I'm going to do this, that I really would like to is actually get the dictionary because that's the one I've been dying to get the most is a dictionary because despite you knowing how to read, write, or do anything, you got to learn these words too. So I would definitely love that because despite reading it, the kana, um, the hira kana, it's, it's hard because you, you just don't know, you know, so... Mochiron <laughs> Honto Yokata means like relief, kind of like that. Oh, God. Oh, good. Yeah. Everyone should know what Nani means. And Yata. Yata. I remember that being used. I kind of mainly learned this word from the Italian one when I heard the Japanese section. So it really, really, really helps. Um, it actually said it here too, like, uh, I don't know where, but another way to learn this language or to just to pick up something is like this, like watch Japanese anime films and sports and also play uh, Japanese comics. That's a very great way to do this. Is, read it in Japanese language is also to play games because lately the games that I've been playing have been having anything nothing but Japanese 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 and that's how I picked up more words and not only that but some games can so like um their game that I got on Steam that's from Doken Zanka Lab I forgot I don't know if I said it Dok Doken Zanka Lab I don't know if I said it right it's called uh Maddie's Code and um, the reason why I bring that up and Neko Para is because both games have the option of displaying the language. So, okay, so display the language that you want. So Japanese, Chinese, English. And on the bottom, you can display another language. So in this case, I displayed the uh, Japanese in the bottom. And in the Malice Ko Maddie's Kodu one, I displayed the hiragana once. So I was able to identify those words. So that's another way you can e learn a language, or at least this Japanese, this Japanese, this language, the Japanese language. So, yep, after your own name. See, this is like what I'm talking about. You, it's like again, it's just a hard language, but if you keep at it, it's. Eh. If you seriously, if you keep at it, you guys, you can learn it, but it's gonna take a while. Obviously, it's it's like, <laughs> but the but one thing I want to say though is um, uh, was it I think the enemy man, um, I I forgot who said it, or maybe it was just a comment on YouTube. It also helps if you've learned the language from a small age too so it's like if I actually ask my mom to teach me like more proper or not proper like but like more Greek because I don't know how to read or write it I can probably pick it up more easily so it also helps if you have a little help from when you're a small child because it's like despite just knowing how to speak Greek I still remember the words. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not completely fluent in the language either. But I'm just saying, like, my mom would 
seriously teach me again i would probably pick it up much more faster than this so again don't give up you just have to get used to it you just have to put it in your brain you have to open up your brain until all these possibilities and learning another language because i find that really hard actually but this is actually not hard because i've been i've been wa watching anime and reading manga for a very long time at least 11 years so it's not like i crammed a uh, a third language in my brain but to actually learn it learn it learn it it's kind of like cramming it in your brain something like that but if you get over that like i kind of am just a, just a little bit because i feel better about learning hiragana it felt great now don't get me wrong i have not learned the whole thing i gotta learn the other part where you add those marks and they turn into different words i know some of them but once you get over that keep at it just Keep at it. Don't give up. You can do it. It might be frustrating. Oh, fuck. It is actually frustrating. But keep at it. I'm giving you advice from a point of view that I'm not doing this through tutors and stuff. I'm going to be doing this through stuff like this, you know. So if you learned a language from a kid, you are off to a good start. I, I guarantee you. You're lucky to whoever knows Japanese from a small kid. <laughs> so, yeah. There you got. There you have it, you guys. I hope that you uh, enjoyed this video. Ten phrases that make you sound fluent in Japanese. Kanbate, kanpai. I'm reading stuff that I actually know. Yoroshiku. Everyone should know at least that. So yeah, there you have it, guys. It has a small dictionary, but obviously not a big dictionary. I still want to learn the words are. I finally learned dade, which means who. They just have to stick to my brain. So there you have it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And was it Dade? Yeah, Dade. Doko. Domo. Domo. Everyone should know that one at least. Dore. Which one? So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time. This is my last video for now. So. Oh, look. I just found this. On the CD. Oh, great. So there you have it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Excuse me. And I will see you next time. So bye, you guys.